Hello YouTube, back again with another video. The third time in a row I'll be playing my Mask Archetype. Since it is very appealing, and I do want to showcase the new cards that I've created, although you might have seen them in the um, segments that I've made in my other videos, where I managed to uh, do a showcase of the cards being created. But at the same time, I want to be able to showcase the duel, if you guys get what I mean. So you have a chance of seeing how the cards are being implemented into the game and how they're being utilized. And people, you, I want you to realize you should not underestimate this deck and my card uh, strategy as, as the way I design them to be. As they are capable of doing so much and although they do not exist in the actual game, they could make a difference, who knows. But for me, this I feel like this is an achievement of mine that is a that I've managed to succeed making. Although, like these cards, you will never see them in real life. But online is something else. It's very innovative and creative, and it's something that I put all my effort into. Like I said before, in all my past videos. But I want to try to do the best I can to try to design these cards that anybody can be able to play online whether they're bored at home or they have nothing better to do or they have a hard time playing Yu-Gi-Oh in real life so even though real life is a better experience but online for for those you can pretty much educate yourself playing this game so but here you're gonna see me ritual summon for 12 act by activating contract of the masked beast so it can be any masked ritual monster, and I can ritual summon either from a hand or grave, as long as the equal, as long as the levels are equal. The monsters that I choose have an equal level of the ritual monster I'm ritual summoning. So as you see right now, and knowing that I can, I can still manage to fusion summon. And the crazy part is, let me fast forward. I can fusion summon using my spell, uh, mask spell traps, because they're being treated as masked monsters. So. As you see right now, I'm going to be able to fusion summon the mask entity. I said mask of cruelty, and then I end my turn from there. So my opponent is playing, because you can tell he's playing a heavy back row deck. So he's already nervous. Um, he doesn't want to say anything because he knows it's not anything positive. Which, obviously, despite the fact that back row decks can be very strong and they can be very... Um, like nerve-wracking because they're unpredictable honestly but at the same time if you have cards that can stop card effects it becomes a problem for them and then they feel that they feel nervous along the way because you might have cards that can activate immediately that can get rid of cards that your opponent controls so lucky me I managed to get rid of his ordeal of the traveler which honestly is not really as strong as it used to be made back then Yu-Gi-Oh because you can summon as many monsters but then you could pretty much even though the cards that you choose in the hand is random the moment you find out on the first try the moment you see the card that they reveal is either a monster spell trap you already know what's already in their hand th that same turn and then that's where like you could still manage to deal uh, damage to your opponent, and although you, uh, one of your monsters is forced to return to the hand, but it's like, you should know by now, so. And I'm letting you know, Grim Reaper can still be affected by uh, spell traps, but is only unaffected by monsters that are, that are on my opponent's field. Just to let him be aware. Because he's confused, because the card itself is not meant to be broken hands down. It's just to make it uh, unaffected by monsters of my component controls. So they'll be considering his level and the number of monsters used to summon him. But again, Ordeal of the Traveler would have been good if my deck wasn't playing as many special summons. If Yu-Gi-Oh! in modern, if modern Yu -Gi -Oh! didn't have as many special summons. Like, compared to how it was back in the, uh, like, original, like, series. Back in the, like, old school days. I hope you guys understand what I mean, but like, in the, in this in this scenario, is very useless. Like, cause the moment I pick the card and I find out it's a monster, 
then I already know what he has in his hand, and then I can continue with my battle phase, and then the ch the his the the odds of him returning my other monsters reduces, and that has a low percentage of like the uh, of him getting rid of my other monsters. So if you guys get what I mean, because the probability becomes a lot smaller the more you find out what type of deck they're playing, because you'll be there basically with the revealing hand. And then eventually, if you find out what kind of deck they're playing, the odds are going to be against them, because you figured what kind of deck that they're playing, that they're using in order to counter your cards, or what they're playing in order to strive with their strategy. So I'm, again, I'm going to be able to ask him to activate Mass Fusion, and you can only activate one per turn, so... But so since I already activated last turn, I can be able to activate it during my next turn. So, so I'll use a uh, discard remnants effect to draw two, destroying one uh, card on my field or my hand. Let me fast forward here. Yeah, I draw two. But I got in return. I got as a cost. I got to destroy one card, either my hand or field. So the card I'm destroying is a Tiki, and I have a negate. So the card I'm gonna activate is. Warlock, it negates the effect on top of banishing, and then I'm gonna fast forward here, gonna attack with Wander, and then I'll do the same thing by using Entity's Event, and then he admits defeat. Uh, overall, I really have, fun. I really enjoy playing this deck. I'm sure you guys would be, would have fun as well, considering the way you consider how you looked at this duel right now as the result, as the final result of what I accomplished. By making this archetype, and then I realized it has succeeded and has went up throughout my expectations. I didn't expect this archetype to be so good, but there could be some cards that I'm not aware of that are make the deck even really broken. But it does not compare bear with the. I do believe it does not compare with the actual meta that's going on in the in the in Ryugyo right now. In like cards that do exist created by Konami that go like going in forward in today's meta but if this if, if this if this archetype were to become a thing and if Konami decided to release these cards I don't know whether they make impact but I, I can I can rest assured that you guys this, this deck would be really fun and, and it, would, it would bring a lot of amusement not only that it would bring a lot of chaos and people would probably be willing to invest in this archetype and then and as much as I don't want to help Konami profit they, they could they could definitely make, attract a lot of uh, duelists they could attract a lot of buyers consumers who might even be willing to take the opportunity to play this deck if it were to become a thing like I said and it, the way it functions they have a lot of synergy they're playing like as pretty much their own archetype and they blend in very well and all this effort and brainstorming has really came through for me. And I'm really, and I really appreciate the support I've been getting. And I feel like that uh, came to play as to why I even decided to make this archetype. And it went well as I expected. And overall is really fun. So maybe you guys should try it out based on your own, de your own decisions. And maybe like even take the consideration going on to Dueling Book. And you'll you'll see you'll maybe you'll see based on your perspective, you might come to terms and then agree with me, or you might think otherwise and think that it's not what you hoped for. But it all depends on you guys. But overall, for me, I do enjoy it. And then I would say I take take my advice. I'd, I you guys should be willing to try this deck out and sh should be willing to give a chance and, and see how you feel about it. So that you may, if, depending on your mood, you may feel satisfied. But more is to come as I continue, whether I continue making cards or not. But rest assured, there will be more duels afterwards. Also, I got, hope you guys enjoy the video. Be sure to check more upcoming content in the future. Be sure to check your notifications. Comment, like, subscribe. Thank you.